Today is Purim, a holiday which can be read about in the book of Esther. And the Jewish people all around the world have been reading this book and celebrating the victory uh, that was provided to them through the prayer and works of Esther and her uncle Mordecai. So I hope that you will take this opportunity to read through the book of Esther, especially if you've never read it before. Today I wanted to focus on one particular section of that story, of that event, and you can find that in the book of Esther in chapter 4. And I'm going to begin reading with verse 13. It says, Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holds your peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knows whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. I think that this piece of scripture is very applicable to today. Today we find ourselves as believers in a tough time. The world is not as embracing of those who are believers in Messiah Yeshua as it once was. We're finding that we're more and more in conflict with the thoughts and beliefs of the world. And I would like to um, ask you to consider, as these times get tough, are you going to stand up? Are you going to believe that you're here at this time, at this moment, particularly and possibly for a specific purpose? And if so, are you going to step up to the plate? Esther responded by praying and fasting for three days and for asking all of the Jewish people in the land um, under Ahasuerosh to also do the same thing. And so I'd like to ask you today, as the times get tough, as fellow believers need help, are we going to step up to the plate? Are we going to pray and fast and ask others to do so as well? and do whatever is necessary, whatever the Lord lays upon our hearts to do, are we going to do that? So during this time, I would encourage you to read through the book of Esther and to contemplate what this means for your life in the days that are coming, in the days that and difficulties that are going to be presented to you. So I would like to wish you a Chag Purim Sameach, and I'd like you to stick around in this video as we finish with a Hamantaschen recipe. Chag Sameach. Hi, welcome to the kitchen portion of the video. Now, I know I'm running a little late because Purim is actually today, but I wanted to go ahead and make a brief portion, a uh, brief video about making hamantaschen because that is the most favored treat on this day. So it's a very simple recipe and I thought I would share it with you. First of all, I've already put the flour and the baking powder in the uh, bowl. It's three cups of unsifted flour, three um, teaspoons of baking powder. Then I'm going to add to that three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm going to put this in the description box below, so don't feel that you need to be scribbling this down. So then I'm going to put in three eggs. And then it's going to be followed by half a cup of oil, which I usually use canola. You can see on here. In Hebrew, that says canola. Okay, so I've got my three of those. And let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I'm being good today. I'm actually measuring it. Usually I don't measure it. Then I'll follow it up with a pinch of salt. So I'll just put a little bit of salt in here. Okay, now 
Now it asks for some rind of lemon. I don't have any of that today, so that's not a problem. Let me move these things out of the way and just add the oil. Now, whenever I'm cooking, because I'm not the best cook in the world, but I do go over to double check that I've put everything in. So I've put in the flour, the eggs, the powder, oil, sugar, uh, salt, and vanilla extract. Okay, so now I want to stir this up. And it's very simple to do. All you're going to do is combine this and then you're going to knead it for about two minutes and then you're going to divide it into thirds and put it between um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, and you're going to roll it out and that way it will be ready to be in, made into circles and you fill the circles with the filling and then you pinch it together, which I'll show you how to do. So let me finish stirring this up and prepare it and then I'll show you how to make the hamantash and actually form them and then we'll see what fillings I've selected for today. Okay, so I've rolled out a little bit of the dough and what I've done is I've cut a circle like this, like I've done uh, many times with scones and so forth. So then I'll take this circle, and let me see if I can do this where you can see, okay. And then I'll take my top, one of my toppings. Now I've selected three different ones for today. One is white chocolate chips, strawberry preserves, and peach preserves. No, I'm sorry, mish mish, apricot preserves. So all you have to do then is take them and put just a little bit in this, the middle of this circle. So I'm going to put some in as soon as I get this jar open. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take just a tiny little bit in my spoon like so, and I'm going to put it in the middle of this. Now, hamantaschen have the shape of a triangle. So what we're going to do is pinch two ends and then pinch the third. And you'll see how I do this. So I pinch two here, and then I pinch the one at the end. And I'm going to hold this up to the camera so that you can see it. So hopefully that's going to focus. Yes, okay, so you can see the triangle shape on this. Okay, and then it's ready to be put on the baking tray. Now, like I said, there's different um, top in um, fillings that you can use. In the past, I've used blueberry, strawberry, cherry, uh, lots of different flavors. So chocolate is good. Anything that uh, you want in the middle. So, you know, if someone has an allergy to something, there's many other options out there that you can use. So let me put these together and I'll put them in the oven. Uh, the oven temperature is 160 degrees Celsius, which is, um, looking for the Fahrenheit on this, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me work on these and I'll put the first batch in the oven and we'll see how they turn out. Now, I'll try to insert a picture, maybe at some point, of what the beautiful ones at bakeries look like compared to mine, but at least you'll get an idea. Mine tend to spread out and not do as well, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. So stay tuned and I'll bring you the results in a minute. Okay, we're back now and as I promised, my hamantaschen do not look beautiful, but I did want to show you one of them that will give you the idea 
of what they look like. As you can see, it is in the shape of a triangle and they are very good. This one is one of the strawberries. So as I said, I made the strawberry, the apricot, the white chocolate chip. You can choose whatever filling you want, but whichever you choose, I'd like to wish you a Chag Purim Sameach.